Hi guys, so firstly you need to start with a primer so that our makeup stays in the right spot. So I like to use, uh, it is either the Benefit or the Napoleon Purtis, but there are heaps of different brands and you can get them in the much cheaper varieties, so your Rimmel or your CoverGirl or whatever. So feel free to use whatever you like, but I suggest using a primer first so that our foundation stays on through the sweat and the dance and all that stuff. Okay, bye. Okay, so next we have our foundation. So make sure that you blend it with the natural skin tone, even a shade darker, but not lighter. Um, and make sure that you blend it in well, all the way out to the hairline. Like so. I like to use the Max Factor Pan Stick. Um, but what foundation you use is completely up to you. Okay, our next thing is our triangle section of concealer. So this is probably more appropriate if you are um, a junior, intermediate or senior. So the tinies usually don't have dark bags under their eyes. But if you kind of do that kind of triangular concealer and then blend it into your foundation, I love these little makeup blending sponges. They help heaps. Um, but just make sure that everything's blended in. The foundation and the concealer is all nice and smooth. Also, if you have any dark spots or um, any pimples or anything like that, you can cover up with your concealer also. So next is our blush. So we want to make sure that we get some blush from the apple of the cheek all the way up the cheekbone to the hairline. Now you might feel like um, you're being a little heavy handed, but as long as it's blended in, it's better to have a rosier cheek than a dull cheek on stage. So make sure the apples of the cheek are nice and pink and up. And I do like a, a pinky kind of blush bron uh, cheek rather than a brown or an orange. So now we need to finish with a translucent powder, um, which is really important because that sets everything in place. So a nice light finish with translucent powder all over the face and over the blush to keep that in place too. Okay, now we can see I've done one eye, but now the base is a nude shimmery eyeshadow so it doesn't matter which brand you use so a nice shimmery nude kind of champagne -y color it can be a creamy a creamy glittery color but as long as it's got a nice shimmer to it and it's kind of nude in appearance as you can see here we've lined our crease with a kind of blush pink. It can be a bronzy pink or a pink pink, whatever you like, whatever you have. But I like to carry a little bit of a pink color through the whole crease from the inner corner of the eye all the way out, just in the middle crease of the eye. Okay, so now we can see we've gone over our crease line and down the corner with a nice kind of middle brown. So we make a little bit of an arch. A little arch and then take it down to the corner of the eye. And then give this a nice blend. And so at this stage, we just want to add a little more of our champagne -y light colour or just your white, if you'd like, underneath the brow bone, underneath our eyebrow. And this gives our eyes heaps of definition on the stage. So yep. next, we put a nice black line of eyeliner sweeping all the way from the corner of the eye all the way along to the end. 
and bring it out just slightly past the end of the eye, like so. And so now we need eyeliner in the bottom line, right on the lash line. Don't put it in the waterline, which is the inside of the eye. Um, I know people do that for regular makeup, but always put it on the bottom underneath. And at this stage, I like to just underneath the eyeliner, carry through a little bit of white or cream eyelash um, eyeshadow. Just brings the eyes out. Okay, so here for the babies, tinies and the juniors, they'll just need a lovely thick coating of mascara. I like to do a little bit on the top and a little bit on the bottom, especially for stage because that gives the lashes lots of length and fullness. Next we want a nice reddish lip liner over the entirety of the lip. Um, follow the natural lip line. Uh, we do want a red, pinky red lip for everybody. And then we want to carry a nice pinky red lipstick all the way through. I advise you to then blot the lips and then reapply the colour. So here is our final look for our tinies, juniors, and um, I'll now show you the false lash for our inters and seniors. Okay, so the best way to apply our false eyelash is to line it up with the middle of the eye, get it right down the bottom and put it on. And then gently press each corner into the eye and I gently apply pressure to the outside of the lash so that it sticks. And just try and make sure that you keep it as close to the natural lash line as you can. Okay, so here's our final look with our eyelashes on. Open up. So our eyes are nice and poppy and big. Our lips are nice and red. And even though this looks like a lot of makeup for a kid just in the daytime, on the stage with the lights, this will give them a nice kind of just gently made up pretty look. And here we have our curly ponytail. Turn around, high on the crown, pulled back, no wispy pieces. So here is our half up, half down look. This is what we'll be having for any of our contemporary pieces, our lyrical dances. So half up, half down, senior and inter-contemporary. Um, and here we have our side pony that we can have for our hip hop. We're having our side pony for our senior tap. And... Wait, thank you, Shakira. Hi guys. So I hope that little tutorial was helpful. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. Please excuse all the noises in the background, dogs barking, children playing, um, but at least hopefully that gives you an idea of what we're after and how to achieve it. Okay, see you later.